What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another light painting video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a super simple technique to give the impression that you have created a perfect circle of light behind your model. The silhouetted circle of light is something that's very common in light painting, and I'm gonna show you my way of giving the impression that I've created a perfect circle, even though most of the time I have not. Creating a perfect circle in light painting is extremely difficult to do by turning the light on and off, like so. It's very difficult to line that start and end point up. So what I do is I use my model to hide the start and end point. As you'll see in just a few seconds, the lovely Candace will be helping me shoot this image. And what I will do is I will have the light on and off behind her. Um, actually using her to block the beginning and end of the circle of light. The tools that I'm using are the Light Painting Brushes Collapsible Light Sword. Love these because they smash down like so and fit real easy in the bag and then expand all the way out, giving you that big wide band of light to create circles of light and all kinds of cool stuff. I'll show you a bunch of other images you can create using the Light Painting Brushes Collapsible Light Swords in just a moment. But for this specific technique, I will show you how to create that perfect circle. Again, the only real trick to this is hiding the beginning and end of that circle behind the model. The camera that I'm using is the Canon 6D Mark II with the Rokinon 14mm manual lens shooting at ISO 400 and f8. These are going to be real quick exposures, maybe about 5-10 seconds or something like that. Again, just enough to make that circle of light behind the model and have her nice and silhouetted in there with the uh, background burning in. I'm going to show you guys this with Candace the model in just a second but I also want to show you that you can actually do this on your own as well. I do this all the time when I'm out shooting alone and I don't have a model to shoot with. I use this technique to create these circles of light to silhouette myself in the image and all I'm going to do is simply turn away from the camera. So the setup is I have the light myself and then the camera. So I am between the light source and the camera to create that silhouette. And again, what I'm doing is when I go to start this circle of light, I'm making sure that the beginning endpoint is blocked by something like my leg. I don't want to start in between. I don't want to start in between here where you can see the beginning and end. So if I've got a space in my legs here, I don't want to start there. I want to make sure that my leg is blocking the beginning and end of this circle. So real quick, I'll just show you how I create one uh, using myself as the model. As you see in that image there, you have the complete circle of light and you can't see the beginning and end because I'm blocking the beginning and end of that circle of light with my leg. This one, we've got the lovely Candace who will be helping us as the model in this shot. She's gonna go to her pose, and again, I'm gonna be back behind her, creating that perfect circle of light, what will be implied perfect, because it will not be. I'm just making sure the beginning and end of this circle is hidden by her body. I'm gonna create a really cool silhouette with a circle of light behind her. As you can see in that image, it looks like Candace has a perfect circle of light right behind her, even though technically that circle is not perfect. The beginning and end is hidden by her body, making it look as though it is a perfectly round circle. We're gonna stay out here and shoot a few more using the collapsible light sword, and I'll show you those images that we create. If you like the video, please do give me the thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.